Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Cece, aka your new bestie. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become a part of the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, hey bestie, thank you so much for tuning back in with me today. So I know I've been gone. We're not even going to talk about that right now, but I'm back. That's all that matters is I'm back, okay? Let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So as you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about some things to do if you want to start a body care business in 2024. So I have 10 different things that I would do if I was starting my body care business in 2024. So make sure you grab your pen and paper so you can go ahead and get all these notes down, okay? Okay. So the first thing is I will know exactly who I'm selling to. So I need to know exactly what problem am I solving with my body care. I don't want to sell body care just to be selling body care. So I need to know, am I trying to help someone with dry skin? Am I trying to help somebody with oily skin? Am I trying to help someone who struggle with hyperpigmentation? What am I doing with my body care? And if you ask yourself those questions, that's going to be able to help you determine what kind of ingredients you need who your target audience is. Another thing I would do is start selling body butters, body scrubs, and lotions, things like that, because these are certain things that help out with hyperpigmentation or help with dry skin, oily skin. These are the top things that people are looking for. When it comes down to body care, they want something that's gonna keep them smelling good, keep their skin hydrated and moisturized. If you're struggling with some products to make, I would definitely recommend those three products. So something that I would do is make samples so that I can get testimonies before I even launch my business. And so I can have people test them out to make sure that they are getting the things that I am trying to target. So if I know that I'm trying to help somebody who has eczema i'm gonna go find people who suffer from eczema and give them my products and tell them to try it for seven days and then try it for 14 days and then try it for a month so i can have those results when it comes down to promoting it only takes seven days or less to clear your eczema when you use this product things like that so just getting samples and finding people to do those samples and making sure that they are staying consistent so that you can have testimonies when it's time to launch your business so people can trust your product already before you even you know before you even launch okay this is one thing i feel like a lot of people don't talk about but i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put y'all on i would definitely start attending pop-up shops if i don't launch my website first i would definitely want to get people in person to try out my products so they can get a taste of it so when i do launch my website they'll already have an idea of what my product can do for them and they can be ready to buy more you know so i would definitely recommend doing pop-up shops because you never know who you can run into. It's an easy way to make your coins when you get to selling your products without having to do all the extra shipping, inventory, and all that great jazz, okay? Another thing I would do is apply to funding. Funding body care can be very expensive. So this is why it's so crucial to have your LLC and everything so that you can start applying for business funding. Now, it may take a minute to get some funding. This doesn't have to be just grants. It could be for your business credit cards and you can get approved for a good amount. Therefore, of course, you don't want to spend everything on your body care stuff, but you want to make sure that you don't have to spend your personal money to fund your business okay that's what we're not doing here in 2024 so if you are watching this and you haven't applied to get your llc yet please 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 make sure you are getting your llc so you can get funding because this is going to help with business grants and getting your business credit cards as well all right and this is going to help build up your business credit and you want to make sure you have good business credit because you can start getting a card in your business name you can start getting buildings things like that there's different things that you can get, so make sure you get your business LLC. So another thing that I would do is start promoting about three months in advance. Now, this could be simply showing them behind the scenes, introducing your products and what it can do for your audience, and just trying to get people reeled in before you officially launch. And like I said earlier, if you're doing pop-up shops, then pop-up shops would be great content for that as well because you could just set up your camera easily while you're talking to customers, you know, take pictures with customers. So when it is time for you to launch, you already have like that, that content already ready, you know? 
So promoting three months ahead of time. And it may sound dramatic, but you want to promote at least 30 to 90 days before you actually launch your business, okay? You do not want to wait until a week before you get ready to launch to start promoting. You want to do it beforehand so you know that you're going to have sales as soon as you launch. That's the goal. You do not want to have to go weeks without having sales, okay? You want to have it right away. And that's going to be your way of having it right away. Trust me. This is something you can do either when you start off or you can wait a little bit longer, but I would start selling digital products as a body care business. This could be you selling your recipes and you can sell your vendors list. If you don't personally make your products and you have a vendor who does it for you, you can sell your vendor. You can do monthly memberships where it could be people get behind the scenes of how to make body care products. You have videos for them step by step things like that just so you can have passive income coming in without having to ship do inventory all that other stuff you have this one-time product that you make and you sell it and get your coin this one is crucial networking with other business owners and this could be in the body care this could be in the beauty industry in general and the reason why it's so important to network because you never know who is paying attention to that specific business you can be able to um, do collaborations with that business you can be able to you know have giveaways with that business and both of you guys building up your audience maybe you offer something that they don't offer and their audience may be interested in what you're offering you never know so it's so important to network and just get to know people in the business industry in general i feel like this one is kind of a no-brainer but instead of just promoting online Promote in person as well. Get business cards, y'all. Get business cards, get flyers, spread the word. You are your biggest supporter. Don't rely on your friends. Don't rely on family members to spread the word for you, no. You have to do it. So whether you're going to beauty supply stores and you're telling people, hey, I have a beauty business getting ready to launch, look into it or something, or going to Target and you see people trying to look for lotions, like what kind of lotion you looking for? Uh-uh, that ain't gonna help you none. I got something, I got just what you need. Okay, you gotta put yourself out there. You really have to interact with potential customers. Like I said, networking is crucial, not just with business owners, but in general because you never know who you can run into that can have your business go from that can just have your business skyrocket okay so promote in person just like how you would online and be creative with it do some things that you ain't never seen nobody do before and really reel people in find brand ambassadors i know a lot of people may not say this too much but definitely find yourself some brand ambassadors because the more people who can help you promote the better they can get the exclusive drops before you even drop a product and they can get that for free and you know just different things but just having someone who can be able to promote your business why this is why brand ambassadors are crucial and if you're a small business of course start off with about maybe one or two brand ambassadors don't go crazy and try to get like 10 brand ambassadors start off small and so that brings me to my next point of just start small if you're extremely worried about your business failing by the way you want to get rid of that mindset but start off small what i did when i started my body care business i would start off with 10 of each product so 10 body butters 10 of the different body oils 10 of the body scrubs and that's how i did it like that just to see how quickly they sell to see what my audience liked more and to see what product was like the the it product that everybody seemed to enjoy the most just so you can have research and then as you go on add on more because if you're selling out in a day because people are loving your body care then you can't just keep restocking with just 10 body butters you know i hope that makes sense this is a quick video but i just wanted to get straight to the point y'all so those are some things that i would do if i was starting my body care business in 2024 if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up and if you have any questions about how to start a body care business or any additional questions about your body care business please let me know down in the comments and i'll make sure i can get to you as soon as i can and if you guys are a body care business and you see a comment that you can answer don't be scared to go ahead 
ahead and answer that comment, okay? Because there may be things that I can't answer, but somebody else might have that expertise. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. On this page, we talk about God, of course, business, and mental health, because mental health is crucial as a business owner. I don't care what nobody say. If your mental health is not right, your business is not going to be right. Simple, okay? I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.